Yeah, Malik Pate was so disruptive that the court actually had to take a brief recess. And that happening, that drama happening as the loved ones of the victims were telling the court about their loss. I wake up every day and... I realized my daughter is down here. What should have been a time for the loved ones of the four people murdered by Malik Pate to address the court about how his actions have impacted their lives. My sister did not pass. She was murdered in cold blood. Turned into a time disrupted by the man convicted of killing their loved ones. Mr. Pate, you need to be quiet and keep your voice low. I am the judge in this court and I am telling you right now, that you need to speak quietly. Seven family members gave victim impact statements. 17 years isn't enough time with your mom. 17 years isn't enough time with your big brother. As each family member spoke. When you pulled that trigger, Malik, did you feel the presence of God leave you? So did Pate. Yeah, no DNA on nothing on Mr. Pate, you're going to have your opportunity to speak. Pate's comments became so disruptive, the judge called for the court to take a brief break. When they came back, the judge ruled Pate watched the rest of the hearing via Zoom from the jail. Back in March, a jury found Malik Pate guilty of murdering 42-year-old Maria Nunez Yese, her son, 19-year-old Emery Yese, Maria's brother, 22-year-old Raymond Williams, and Raymond's girlfriend, 22-year-old Natasha Brinsfield, in Tacoma in October of 2021. My wife, Maria Nunez, we met at the age of 13. Separated by death. Did he look her in her eyes when he pulled out his gun? Before the judge sends Pate, he addressed the court. This is from the 9 millimeter at the residence. You're saying this is the murder weapon, but don't have no actual facts of this being the murder weapon. After a nearly three hour long hearing and more than two years, the family of the victims heard the sentencing they've been waiting for. The court is imposing four consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. And when that sentencing came down, you could hear and see the relief on the loved ones of the victims' faces. But we should note, attorneys for Malik Pate uh, actually pleaded with the court to recognize before that sentencing that he does have a mental illness. A restitution hearing is scheduled for August 2nd. In Tacoma, Sheer Matzazawa, Fox 13 News.